Today we are at Pioneer Cemetery in Gainesville, Alabama. It's a historic cemetery. That was started in 19... Living room. Oh, 1823. Uh, um, if you check out, um, I think it's Sweetheart, Alabama. Dead. Yes, everybody's dead here. Um, she does a lot here. It looks like they might be having soon having a grave over there, maybe working on some. This is pretty cool. Confused. Of, confused. A lot of um, cast iron graves and shell graves over here. Here's some of the cast iron ones. I love these right here. Here's some more. Slam. Slam. I always like this grave because it has little cat prints. So I'm going to try to fix it with some cement and um, either a cat or maybe a raccoon. Walked across it. Yeah, these are from like 1874 to 1876. Some more cast iron graves. Yeah, I don't know really what they're doing. Over there. Let's see. Maybe they're fixing graves. Because there's two spots with tents. like the ones that had um, ooh, bricks over them. Looks like they're trying to fix that one right there. I'm really hoping they're fixing these uh, headstones because it's kind of creepy to see a bunch of um, graves displayed like this. I think that's what they're doing. I think they're removing the old bricks off of them and maybe putting new slabs. Like there's some mounds of bricks right there. Some mounds of bricks right there that I'm guessing are graves. Another this poor little grave right here for graves. For where? Up. Up. Nothing. 
something up. Except that it's not about to start raining. up anything none none am you dead yes you are dead well, maybe a nun this was the original site of the confederate hospital from 1861 to 1865 and here was their chaplain I love old cemeteries like these. It's kind of sad the way they look at times, but still love them. And so here's an outline that's a grave. It has the bricks. Uh, I hear someone yelling, I guess they're fighting over here. More. Very few shells still remain on the shelter. And I guess they did this as um, from what I could research. These actually protect the graves. They poured concrete or some, something like that. And then they had all these shells that they would um, put on top. There's also a religious thing for it as Tree. well. Tree. Tree. And there's another grave. That's one right there. Yeah, people are fighting. Here, but no marker. Let's see, can't tell who those are, nothing written on them. Gotta check out the one back here. There's two cast irons and one's one that's kind of like buried up in the bamboo. Apologize. Apologize? Who needs to Punished. Apologize? Punished? I don't know if these are children's ones, but these are two awful small. These are probably the smallest um, cast iron ones that I've seen. This is from 1833 to 1868, it looks like. Excuse me, 1796 to 1874. Gun. Gun. And another shell grave. Leave me alone. Leave you alone? I'll walk away. Another grave. Can't really tell what's there. This one was Mason. Another small pile of bricks. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, oh, this one's kind of facing this way instead. Uh, born 1794. out a death date. What do we have over here? Uh, born in 1808 and died in 1868. I'm 
guessing these are graves. Um, don't really see anything. I know I'm kind of sporadic all over the place. I don't think the people are fighting anymore, so maybe I can walk back over this way. So you got right here. Okay. Okay. Is it okay to walk back over there? That's from the Gar Green uh, Greenville Garden Club. I know they're kind of watching me now. Go back up here to the front. Let's see what we got. Squeeze through here. That's a cool looking one. And that one too. Um, all I can see is 18 something. It looks like someone tried to repair them. And I can't make anything out on this one. Some more. Shots. Morning. Morning, yes. So here's the baby. Couple more shell grades. Um, born in eighteen fifty five, died in eighteen sixty seven. Oh, sorry for the dog barking. This one to go in. A Maybe I can't. Yeah, I can't. Damage. Damage, yes, this is damaged. This is really old and falling apart. I guess when they put this up with the gate and the fence, this fence wasn't there. Eighteen sixty three to eighteen sixty four. This is November to December eighteen sixty one. White. White? Well, I don't know. What is that sign? Because to me, that sign kind of looks like a money sign with an extra line through it. I'm not 
sure who's in that one. So that's what I'm guessing they're doing on the other ones in the white tents. Um, they're trying to fix them. This is 1851, maybe? It's Slam. Slam again. I don't know. I don't know what's being slammed. Are you about to be slammed with rain? Is that what you're telling me? And I think this big one right here is actually the guy that he just mentioned. Yelling at me, yeah. I think these are so cool too. And that's a grave with nothing still on it. I need to go. right there. Kind of cool how the moss is on the bricks. I guess it was telling me I needed to get out of here because it's about to storm. And I'm not, not everyone. I hope you enjoyed this because that storm's coming in real quick. All right. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. Ooh. Okay, I'm walking up. I'm going to tell the reality ripple just to see if we pick up anything. I'm about to get out of here. I had gotten a, a message on the ghost tube saying, I need to leave. Maybe he was telling me, I, as in me, I need to leave. Ooh, there's something right there. Because all of a sudden this storm blew up real bad. It's about to storm here. Well, I knew it was about to rain, but it came in really fast. Anything over here? Check out over this way. I love these cast iron 
cast iron ones. And here, like I said, here's my favorite. The one with the little cat prints on it. Anything over here? No, nothing for me. How about, how about over here? What we got an unknown? They decide to leave with the storm coming in. So if you're ever in Greenville, Alabama, I would recommend coming and checking out this place. It's pretty cool. to get out of here before it really starts storming. Thanks, bye.